but she basically she she was a seasoned traveler, so she travels often. Um, and she went through a security checkpoint, and a TSA security officer pulls up a baggie of cocaine and says, "What's this?" The girl freaks out, you know, uh, immediately she kind of draws a blank and she says, you know, that's not mine. And uh, she says, you know, for a minute, he sat there and watched her, you know, try to explain how this baggie wasn't hers. She started crying. She was frantic, terrified, as I would be, as many of you would be, I'm sure. At which point, uh, after she, you know, and, and tries to give an explanation that it's not hers and she doesn't know where it came from. Um, she's, uh, she knows that it's a big no-no not to ever put down her bags when she travels. Um, she's only put her bag down once for security from being able to slip it in. She's thinking, you know, some kind of terrorist is trying to set her up. She doesn't know. All these things run through her mind. It's at that point the TSA officer starts to laugh and tells her, mm, just kidding, it's a joke. So, this girl, um, young woman, calls for a supervisor. Um, of course, the officer is taken off duty. Um, it later stated that, you know, TSA, you know, took action and he no longer works for the TSA. Well, isn't that great? In my mind, um, not only shouldn't he not work for the TSA, uh, I find what he did um, criminal. Um, I find what he did life-threatening. Um, had he not said that it was a joke, had he really planted this on somebody to hurt somebody, she could have either been not only arrested, she could have been killed depending on whatever substance it was, he decided to plan on somebody. What if he decided to plant a bomb? What if he decided to plant bomb material? What if it wasn't, you know, a young 20-something-year-old college student? What if it was a 40-year-old man who, instead of reacting in tears, reacted in anger? in aggression, in defiance, because he was innocent. What he did could have had her killed, if not at the very least, arrested. And we're talking about, you know, long-term sentencing in prison for, you know, had that been not, had that not been drugged, but had that been what TSA regards um, and considers, you know, terrorist, terrorist-like bomb material, explosive material. You know, that story stuck with me, and um, it just really leaves us all vulnerable to um, these TSA workers. Um, You know, uh, at that point, you um, read a good, um, a good, uh, you had a good question on my last video about the criteria that, you know, what is the criteria for TSA for these airports that want to opt out of their service? Um, in that article, you know, it's a 